officers and a wild police chase spanning Delco, Philly and South Jersey ends with the suspect in custody. And it turns out he was on the FBI's most wanted list. I'm Shana Humphreys. I'm Jason Martinez and you saw it all unfold last night on Fox 29 News at 10. Our Hank Flynn live in Fullcroft, Delco, where the pursuit began and police spoke out today. Hank. For sure, guys. And you know, he tried to kill a woman in Delco just this past July, according uh, to police who say that's the reason they were after him. Uh, and Fullcroft police today told us that the suspect had vowed to them that he would never go back behind bars without a fight. Well, last night, Arthur got all he could handle. And tonight, the man that police call a career criminal is back once again behind bars. So during that surveillance, they saw the subject, Arthur DeSanto Jr., exit the residence and get on a motorcycle. Fullcroft Deputy Police Chief Chris Eisenman says state police and U.S. Marshals had 41-year-old Arthur DeSanto Jr. under surveillance at a house in Marple when DeSanto took off on a motorcycle. From there, they attempted to stop him. A high-speed pursuit uh, started throughout many municipalities throughout Delaware County. The defendant was driving at a high rate of speed all throughout Delaware County. And the Prospect Park area, they lost them. State police and the FBI had been on the hunt for DeSanto since early July. He was wanted in media for attempted murder, and now he was on the loose. A Fulcroft investigator picked up the chase at 84th and Lindbergh in South Philly. He spotted the suspect on Delmar Drive in Fulcroft. At that time, he attempted to stop the vehicle. Uh, it took him to 84th and Lindbergh in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. at which time he made contact with the suspect on a motorcycle. Once he made contact, the suspect fell off his motorcycle. At that point, he reached for his firearm in his waistband. Shots were fired, but how many and by whom is under investigation? Iserman says the Fullcroft investigator had taken cover behind his car, a car filled with weapons and SWAT gear that in the chaos, DeSanto somehow stole. Right after that had occurred, what we were able to do was track our officer's cell phone that was in the vehicle. That brought us to Camden County, Deptford Township area, where we notified Deptford Township. They located the vehicle. They set up a perimeter in that area. They had information that the subject ran into the woods wearing our SWAT gear. Yeah, guys, and now Pennsylvania State Police said in a statement that DeSanto is again being held in custody on the New Jersey side of the river, held specifically on that attempted murder warrant out of media. Uh, they say uh, that he uh, were lo had located a residence to hide in, and after shooting at police on the New Jersey side of the river, he was apprehended. Uh, state police here in Pennsylvania add that there will be a looting and fleeing charges tacked on to the long list of charges that he'll be facing when all of the investigations conclude. Guys, we're here in Volcroft Township Live. Back